Hi, this is Kyle with DigiCert. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a certificate signing request in Microsoft Exchange 2007. On the Exchange server, click on Start, Programs, Microsoft Exchange Server 2007, and then Exchange Management Shell. Now in a web browser, go to digicert.com slash easy-csr slash exchange2007.htm. If you are at our site already, follow the link below this video. That will bring you to our online tool to help you to create the command that you will need to run in Exchange to generate your CSR. For SSL Plus or EV certificates, the common name should be the fully qualified domain name of your server. For a wildcard, enter an asterisk, then your domain. For our UC certificate, it can be any one of the names that you want to be included in the cert. All the other names you want to include in your certificate should be entered into the Subject Alternative Names field. For Exchange, you want to make sure you include any names through which the server is accessed internally or externally. In this example, the server will be accessed externally through mail.digister.com and www.digister.com. It will only be accessed internally through mail.digicert.local. We will also be using this certificate for the auto-discover service. In the organization field, enter the full legal name of your company. If you don't have a specific organizational unit, you can enter something generic like web or IT. Your city, state, and country will usually be the location of your main office and not necessarily your current location or address where the server is located. If you've already purchased a certificate for that domain through DigiCert, this form may be pre-populated. You can leave the key size at 2048 and then click Generate. Now we have a command to run in the Exchange Management Shell. You can copy and paste it directly from the tool. Unless you change the path specified by our tool, your CSR should be at the root of your C drive. You can go ahead and open that file with Notepad or WordPad and you'll want to copy the entire body of that file into the online form. If you have any questions, please contact our 24-hour support for assistance. 